Hello everybody, um, it's time for week two of the PFL season. Um, this week I wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh, it's early in the season, um, there is a lot of time for trash talking, which I thoroughly enjoy. Um, but I wanted to talk about why uh, fantasy football and the PFL is um, so important to me, personally. Um, you know, I know I had to wait years, years, on a waiting list to get, even to get into this league, which is total bullshit, by the way. Um, Rob told me about this league. Uh, I told him I wanted to play. He said, you guys were full. Okay, that's fine. I get that. And then slowly, guys started getting on the list before me. Matt Nick, John Ice. And then it came time for me to actually get to join the league. I thought, you know what? I got bumped for people, um, which was really offensive to me. But that's okay, I got over it. And I had to get voted on. And here's the thing, I was up against Dover, and you guys put it to a vote, really? Anyway, I'm over it. But what I really love most of all about the PFL is the sense of family that we all have. Um, last Sunday, um, Jake and Amy had us over at their house great day. I mean, it was casual. Um, everybody was coming in and out of the house all day long. Um, Jacob, you actually uh, took the time to hang my banner up over your home, which really meant a lot to me that it sh should be welcome. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, last Sunday was a great day, and for me it was family. In fact, the PFL to me is family. But what better way to get to know the members of the PFL than through your families, especially your kids? Take a look. Whose dad is the best at fantasy football? Okay, Dominic, you answer. Who's the, who, whose dad is the best at fantasy football? Uh, my dad. Your dad is? And How good is your dad at fantasy football? Great. He's great? Okay. How good is your dad at fantasy football? He's very good because on the last play of the game, his quarterback threw a touchdown and his wide receiver caught it. Okay, very good. Okay, football. How good is your dad in fantasy football? Terrible. He's terrible? Yes, terrible in his team. <laughs> really? What makes you say that? Because his team mostly loses. Yeah, okay. Um, I ex my, my dad likes soccer and he, he likes the USA and he likes to take the ball really hard. Okay, so your dad likes soccer? Yeah. That's why he lost to Tim Hudson this week. Okay. <coughs> Could you uh, tell us how good is your dad at fantasy football? Darn, uh, he's not very good, actually. No, not very good? How'd he do this week? I think he buys a magazine that's still on the shelf for like a couple years ago. And uh, his two, three tight end technique didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and Peyton Manning, pretty much, is as old as he is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Brooklyn Pierce, what is the funniest thing that your dad does? The silliest thing that your dad does? Um... No, Dominic. We'll, we'll let Dominic answer next. I'll fart in our face. He farts in your face? <laughs> <laughs> Is that? Watch. He does this. <laughs> he like fart. Okay, Caden, what's the silliest thing that your dad does? When my dad misses the ball when I throw it right to him. Caleb. So, tell me, who's the boss in your family? Your mom or your dad? My mom. Your mom? And, and why is your mom the boss? Just because. Just because? Yeah. Okay, how is she the boss? What does she do that makes her the boss? Um, say no. She says no. Does she say no to you or does she say no to your daddy? No to me and daddy. Okay. She, tell, she tells daddy no all the time, huh? Yeah. Well, maybe not all the time because you and your brother are here. Okay, at your house, who's the boss? Your mom or your dad? Mom. Mom? Mom's the boss? Okay, very good. But dad owns the house. 
Oh, okay. All right. Gotcha. Mom makes the rules that dad owns the house. Mom makes the rules dad owns the house. Yeah. Is that so my thought for this weekend was to see if people wanted to get together, maybe go to Mad Duck and come over here and watch football. But obviously after that clip, Jacob's going to have to ask his wife for permission to attend. Speaking of Jacob, um, last week, right before kickoff, he sent out some pretty bold predictions. Um, what in particular I would like to uh, bring back up? Take a look. And last but not least, we have the, the Cox versus Levy on the prayer. Uh, Probably the most lopsided game of the week, hands down. The Cox win this one and go strong and they go hard. Uh, look for Levy on a prayer, not even break 100 points this week. So, Jacob, it's okay. It was a, a hard fought game. Um, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. At least that's what many women have told me. I'm not sure what they meant by that. Um, but with that said, I hope everybody has a great week too. Um, Michael, I'm not looking forward to playing you. You've got a tough lineup. Um, you guys have a great week, and we'll see you next week on Inside the PFL.